Tennis star Naomi Osaka has withdrawn from the French Open. Organizers threatened to expel her when she boycotted a news conference. The world number two decided not to face reporters after her first round win over Patricia Tigg, citing mental health issues. She was fined $15,000. Now, Osaka had said she would not attend the obligatory news conferences. She says facing the media affects her mental well-being. Let's bring in Cress Harrington from DW Sports. Now, hi, Cress. What hi. more can you tell us about Naomi Osaka's departure from this tournament? Well, you know, she went into a little more details on social media, and it, and it came, you know, it surprised me that since 2018, that's when she won her first Grand Slam. That's when her depression started, and since then, she's been dealing with that, a lot of uh, social anxiety as well. Typically, you see her wearing headphones, and then she explained why she does that so she can kind of dull out you know, the crowd and other things like this. And, you know, just her actions are a, a strong reminder to all of us that we're all human, no matter our position or no, no matter our ability. And, uh, you know, I think it took uh, quite a bit of courage for her to do you know, what she did. Well, it is raising a lot of questions about whether the mental health of athletes is being taken seriously. I mean, is it? Well, let me just highlight a few issues, a few athletes that have had uh, shared that they've had mental uh, issues. Michael Phelps, a known swimmer, you know, he's dealt with anxiety in the past. He associated those issues to his DUI problems, driving under the influence. Uh, and here in Germany, Robert Enke was a German footballer who committed suicide in 2009. He was uh, suffering with depression as well uh, due to the death of his daughter. Now, fast forward to now. I could argue the French um, Tennis Federation has not done enough because they basically put her in a difficult situation. They fine her. She expresses why, you know, maybe she doesn't want to speak to the media. And, and they say that, okay, you're going to have to either accept your anxiety or be fined. Uh, I think that's unfair, and hopefully it'll raise awareness to the organizations and people, a lot of her naysayers as well, that this is a serious issue that needs uh, the attention it, it deserves. What kind of support is Naomi Osaka getting from fellow athletes? Well, courage is the common thread among support. We've seen support outside of the sport of tennis, but I'll highlight Serena Williams. Serena Williams is the uh, her opponent who she defeated to win her first Grand Slam. Williams was very supportive of Osaka. She said she wanted to give her a hug, and this is what else she had to say. We have different personalities, um, and people are different. Not everyone is the same. Um, I'm thick, you know, other people are thin, so... Um, everyone is different and everyone handles things differently. So, you know, you just have to let her handle it the way she wants to in the best way that she thinks she can. And um, that's the only thing I can say. I think she's doing the best that she can. That's a words of support there from Serena Williams. What is next for Naomi Osaka? Osaka, Japanese-American. She's expected to be one of the major attractions at Tokyo 2020. You know, she talked about that she doesn't want to rest. She wants to go after the next major tournament. You know, so I do wish her well and all of the support. And uh, I'm sure she's tuning into all of the support she's already received. Cress Harrington from DW Sports, thank you so much for bringing us that story. Thank you.